Hey guys, and welcome to my February favorites and a few fails. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things that I've been loving this month and a couple of things that have been really disappointing this month. Um, pardon my nasally tone. I have a sinus infection. This has been going on for weeks and weeks because we have terrible allergies in San Antonio right now or terrible pollen and mold and all that, and it's making me have a sinus infection. So if I sound a little bit different, that is the reason why. Um, so let's get into my February favorites. But if you are new to my channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you like the video, as well as hit the little button next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified when I upload new content. Um, so today, let's get started with my sunscreen. <clears throat> I've really li been liking this Biore UV sunscreen. I actually got this on Amazon. It was a Dr. Dre recommendation. I really love her channel. If you guys don't know Dr. Dre, you've gotta check her out. She's a dermatologist that posts really, really informative, wonderful videos on all facets of skincare. Obviously, since she's a dermatologist, you are getting good information, and I just love her channel. She recommended this. Apparently, in, you know, Europe and Japan, they have much better, um, rather, they have really good skin products because they have different, uh, their FDA equivalent is a little bit different to the United States and they have better UV blockers in Japan and the U and Europe. So this is actually a Japanese um, uh, sunscreen and it is called Biore UV Aqua Rich. But what I love about it <clears throat> is that it really does have, pardon me, <clears throat> that really watery feel on your skin. So it does not feel like sunscreen. It doesn't feel like you're putting some thick gooey sunscreen on your face before you're trying to apply makeup. So I really, really like that. Um, highly recommended. I will link it below. And by the way, it is SPF 50. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends that you use a sunscreen of at least 30 or above. So that is a great, great sunscreen. I love it. And it was very reasonable. I want to say it was like 12 or $15. My next favorite is I've had a couple of events to go to this month and where I've been wearing like sleeveless outfits. And what I have been putting on my shoulders, which looks so pretty, is this highlight called Flexitarian from uh, ColourPop. And what I like about it, it came to me cracked, you guys. That's why it's all cracked. But what I really like about it is it's so easy just to put on your finger and then rub on your shoulders and give that your shoulders that like glow, that kind of shimmery look. It's so pretty. My hands are super duper dry now, but that is what Flexitarian looks like. Last night I went to another event where I was wearing a sleeveless outfit and I put this on my shoulder and everybody was like, your shoulders look so pretty. So it just gives your skin a little bit of oomph if you're wearing... Um, something sleeveless or if you are you know you want to just highlight your collarbones that is a great way to do it you just pop your finger in it and you rub it a little bit on your collarbones and your shoulders and it looks really beautiful and shimmery um, so I've been enjoying that product the other product that I've been enjoying this month that is a highlighter is my Milani highlighter it's called afterglow and it is very stroby. So <clears throat> this is kind of a pinkish color. They have a couple of different tones for the different skin tones. This is definitely a more stroby highlight. So I've only been using this when I go out and very sparingly because it will um, highlight wrinkles and pores if you have a lot of them. Um, it is a very beautiful highlight, but I've only been using it like, you know, right here on the center of my nose and right here. It's not something I would want to put on my cheeks or anything like that because it would definitely highlight pores. So I've really been enjoying this, but for like a going out look and in very specific locations. But for every day, what I've been loving this month is my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. Um, this is a great highlighter that... When you look at it in the store, it's got a little bit of a spray over and it looks like it's got glitter in it, but it doesn't. Once you get through that spray over, it is just a super natural looking highlight. Let me swatch it for you. That has got a little bit of a pinkish undertone. If you, um, I don't know if this is going to go up before or after my current everyday makeup routine video, but if you see that, when you see that video, I've been really loving this because it is a great everyday highlighter. It reminds me of the Laura Geller um, vanilla highlighter in that it is super duper natural. It will not highlight wrinkles and pores in the same way that something more stroby will. So I think it is a great everyday highlight if you're looking for a highlight with more of a pinky peachy undertone versus a creamy whitey undertone. 
So check this out, ignore the spray over. I don't know why Benefit does that. I don't know why they do that. It's so misleading um, about their products, but once you get through the spray over, it's just a really natural, beautiful looking highlight. Um, the next thing that I've been loving this month is my Cindy Luminizer. If you guys saw my collaboration with Jenna Cookie that I talked about 10 products that I never ever reach for, this was one of them. And I don't know why I've had this for years and I had never used it. It was like brand new. And I thought for some reason that it was a highlighter, but it's really not. It's just a luminous blush and it is what I am wearing on my cheeks today. It's kind of this pinky peachy color and it just gives like a really pretty luminous look to your cheeks without making your pores look huge. It's, I wouldn't say, um, I, it's not a satin finish. It's, it is more, it is more glowy than a satin finish, but it's not stroby. Um, and it doesn't have any glitter. It's just kind of shimmery, but it's super, super pretty. And I really like it. It brings my face to life in the morning and I've just been dusting it on my cheeks and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so there is one follow-up from that video. In a little bit, I will give you a couple of other follow-ups from other products that I've used that I've not liked so much. Another favorite this month has been the Ardell Wanna Get Lucky Gel Liner. So Ardell is kind of a hard brand to come by. I actually got this eyeliner at Sally. It was a recommendation by Zabrina. And I am a person, what, what got me to try it is that I never can get anything to stay in my waterline. Like if I put it in my waterline, it is gone. It is, you know, and I don't mind. It kind of like smudges under my eye and it gives me look like a, gives, gives me like a smoky eyed look underneath my eye, but nothing stays in my waterline except this. And Zabrina said when she was raving about it, that it's the only thing she's ever found that stays in her waterline. And she was not joking. It's like 10 bucks for this. It's just a regular eyeliner, but guys, it will stay in your waterline. Literally at the end of the night, I have to take like a Q-tip and my micellar water and actually like clean it off of my waterline because it doesn't move. So if you are a person that has trouble finding an eyeliner that stays in your waterline, this works, it really does. 10 bucks, Sally, check it out, so good. Another favorite this month is my Real Techniques, um, <clears throat> what is this? It's uh, like a correcting brush. They had these over the holidays and they came in a set of four and they were like all the same brushes just with different colors. But they are such useful brushes. Number one, I love it for concealer. I'm gonna link it for you below because I saw it at my local grocery store. So I'll see if Ulta still has it for those of you who are not in Texas. But the reason that I love these brushes is I think they are great for so many things. I've been using it to do my concealer under my eye every day, but it came with four brushes. So the other thing I've been using it for is a blending brush on my eye. When I've done my eyeshadow and I'm just trying to blend all the colors together, I just, it's a really great blending brush. It's just clean and it's just sitting there in my brush thing and I use it to blend out any harsh lines that I might have left over from my eyeshadow look. So I'm really enjoying this brush. I just think it's kind of a very good multi-use brush. I feel like you could use it to contour. I feel like um, it's just, it's kind of a little bit precise and it's just a very nice brush with multiple uses. So I'll link it below. Another thing I've been loving this month is my Maybelline Total Temptation. I've only been using this for the past two weeks or so but so far I really, really like it. So that's the disclaimer. I've been using it for two weeks. I have not tried it on call. Um, to see if it will give me raccoon eyes, to see if it will flake underneath my eyes. But I do like it better than the Lash Paradise by uh, L'Oreal because it is not as clumpy. I feel like it really separates my lashes. It is what I'm wearing today. My It Cosmetics um, gives my um, lashes more length, but I feel like this gives more volume and separates better. And I do appreciate that because sometimes when my It Cosmetics mascara is super new, it will um, clump my lashes and make them look a tiny bit spidery. And this doesn't do that. It really separates and it is a very nice non-clumping formula. So I really like this. If you were not a fan of the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal, check this one out, Maybelline. Great mascara. Next, I have tried out quite a few lip glosses this month. I, over the holidays, if you saw some of my disappointing videos, you saw that a lot of the lip glosses that I bought that were high-end that had like, that were lip toppers that had a little bit of shimmer and glitter in them were just gross. They were yucky feeling in that they left a lot of chunky shimmer on my lips. So I've kind of been on a mission to find lip glosses that I can wear every day that don't leave any chunkiness on my lips. Some of them have shimmer, some of them do not. I will start with my Neutrogena Hydra Boost. I love this stuff. This was a recommendation by Miss Gold Girl. I was at lunch with her, she showed me hers. I like ran to the grocery store and bought my own. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It does make your lips look very plumped. It does not have any kind of like stinging or tingling or minty feeling to it. 
and it is a little bit on the pricier side for a drugstore product. It's like 10, like 10 bucks. But I think that's because it really, it has good ingredients in it. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. It is super comfortable. It is not sticky and they have pigment. They have a whole line of these ranging in all different colors and they're not sheer. They actually do have pigment. This is a light pink pigment. This is in the color um, pink sorbet. I'll swatch it for you. The only thing about this is that the doe foot like does not, here's the swatch by the way, it's just a light pink. The doe foot like does not fit back in the thing. So you've really got to work to get it back in the tube. It's really weird. It's like the doe foot's too big for the tube. But I love the formula and I love that it's got some pigment to it. It's beautiful for like an everyday makeup look. I'm actually not wearing it right now. I'm like looking at my lips like smacking. I'm like, I'm wearing it. I'm not wearing it because I'm wearing actual lipstick with a different lip topper over it. But I have really been enjoying this. Check it out the next time you guys go to your drugstore. You'll love it. Um, Milani. Milani has come out with some really nice lip products. One of them is... Uh-oh. Sorry about that, guys. Um, one of them is this Amour Shine lip gloss. And... This is a lovely lip gloss, you guys. They have a whole range of colors. They're kind of like full pigmented lip glosses. Um, I mean, you could call them a liquid lip, but they feel like a lip gloss that's just got pigment to me. Um, they Here's the color that I got, which is just a beautiful, like neutral pink color. Let me see if I'll focus for you guys. It is so pretty. And the shade that I got that is just great for everyday wear is called 01 Delight Delish, D-E-L-I-C-E. -E. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. But it is such a pretty natural everyday color, but it does have a lot of shine. It tingles for like a second, like one second, like minty, like a tiny bit minty, but literally like it's nothing like buxom. It tingled for like a minute and then it was gone. Very comfortable, not sticky, full pigment, beautiful lip glosses, really like them. So I was super excited about that. And then I was at Walmart and I saw that they had these um, Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper lip glosses, also by Milani. And so I bought a couple of these. The color that this is is 08 Soft Rose. These also have a little bit of more minty than the Amore Shines, um, but definitely less minty than the Buxoms. Like it's minty for like five minutes as opposed to like five seconds on this one. Um, not tingly, not irritating, like it doesn't even compare to the Buxom in terms of its tingliness. It's like much less than the Buxom. It's just a teeny bit minty. And they are so comfortable, you guys. They're very moisturizing, very, very um, comfortable to wear. They have this huge doe foot. Check out the size of that. It like reminds me of, I don't know. <laughs> it reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape doe foot. It's really, really big. Let me compare it real quick for you guys to the Amore shine one which is much smaller and has a little bit of a point but if you have big lips you're really gonna like this doe foot because you will only have to do like one application but the color of this is so pretty you guys look at how full pigment that is so pretty shiny moisturizing hydrating and super super beautiful on the lips the other color that i got is um 02 nude shimmer it's got a little bit of shimmer but it doesn't have any frank glitter in it it's just shimmery same doe foot and it's just a slightly lighter color and that's it so the only place i have seen these is at walmart and i really really like them a lot they're in kind of a much thicker tube than the amore uh shines that's the tube for the amore shine this is the tube for the keep it full both by Milani, both around $10 each. Um, but I really, really like them. I think they're super high quality. Okay, the last thing that I love this month that I wanna show you guys is what my husband got me. He got me this Jo Malone Red Roses Cologne. If you know anything about Jo Malone, you can like mix their fragrances, you can mix their scents. This is so pretty, you guys. It smells like roses, but it's not granny. It's like a really beautiful, like rosy scent that, um, I've gotten so many compliments when I've been wearing it. You guys know that I love the smell of rose. I wanted to compare it with you to Roses de Rains from, or Roses et Rains from um, La Ocetane. This I like. It is a good perfume. It is pretty smelling, but I don't like it as much as the Jo Malone. I, my husband didn't even know that I had this one, and he bought me this, and I've been comparing the scents of them, and I definitely prefer this one. It is a tiny bit more... Um, 
This one is a tiny bit more powdery for lack of better um, description and a tiny bit more, I don't wanna say old lady like because that's just a rude way to describe it, but it is less youthful than this. I don't know why, that is just my feeling about them. This one is a tiny bit more, I don't wanna say it's got a citrus, more of a citrusy feel to it, cause it's roses, but it's a tiny bit more of a citrusy rose, if you can imagine that scent, than this, which is more of a powdery rose. I don't know if that description makes any sense to you guys, but that is the best way that I can describe it. I feel like this one is more youth youthful. I definitely prefer it to the one from La Occitane. So that is a favorite this month, I love it. It is beautiful, if you like the smell of roses, check it out, it's not, it does not have that old lady scent at all. Okay, so for a couple of things I didn't like this month. If you saw my uh, video with Jana Cookie, you saw that I have not, um, had not used this Natural Love palette. I realize it's been a year since this was released. It's ridiculous that I'm even having this discussion right now, but I still think it's worth telling you guys because it is still for sale on the Too Faced website. Dare I say I hate this palette. Like, it is so, it was so disappointing, you guys. It was just so bad. Everything looked, mu I thought it was going to be the perfect palette because it, has such beautiful colors, they look so neutral, they totally, they've got cool tones, they've got warm tones. If you look at the palette, it looks like a palette that you would just love, that you would use every day, but every single color ended up looking the same on my eyes, they looked muddy, they blended together. At the end of the day, you couldn't tell that I had like done anything interesting with my makeup look. I was trying to use it over and over and over again so that I could give you guys like a really good feel for what this palette was like. And every day that I had to like pick this up to use it, I was like annoyed. I, I like I disliked using it so much because the way that the look turned out was so blah that I just, it's just not a good palette, you guys. I just don't think the quality is as good as Too Faced usual, which really is annoying. I really love um, Liv Loves Her Makeup because she totally calls all these brands out and you know not every palette that they put out is as good as the last and the chocolate bar palettes are so good and you can really do a beautiful interesting look with them they don't look muddy they don't look annoying in terms of like all the colors melding together by the end of the day and this one I just don't think it's the same quality I think that if you're brand new to makeup and you are looking for like really neutral colors that are going to be light and not overwhelming and decently easy to blend. It's a good palette. But who that's new to makeup is going to spend $60 on a palette? I mean, it's like a $58 palette. And I just did not like it. It was very disappointing. So I don't know. I'm just, it was annoying. 58 bucks down the drain. So did not like that palette at all. The next thing that was not a disappointment I liked it, but it's definitely not a favorite. I just wanted to follow up for you guys was the Hourglass Blushes. Everybody loves mood exposure. They like rave about it. They say it's like the best thing in the world and it's nice, but I don't think it's like a $50 blush. Like I, I don't know what the rave is about the, um, the, the, the Hourglass ambient lighting blushes. Like they're fine, but I feel like the Milani baked blushes are just as nice and they're a quarter of the price. I mean, the Milani blushes you can get for eight bucks. I think that the um, ambient lighting blushes are like 50 bucks a pop, which I just, I don't think they're worth it. So it's not that it's a fail because they look really pretty, but I just, I don't think they're so special and so amazing and so wonderful that they're worth the price tag. I really don't. So that's just a follow up for you guys on that one. The last thing that I just didn't, I don't want to say it's a fail. It's just not anything great is um the dual the douce the deuce how do you say this the deuce palette by juvia's place i'd really been wanting to try juvia's place palettes you can't even tell that i've even used this palette it's like they come with huge pans i really thought that this color scheme was going to be super pretty it's got this like beautiful peach online i thought that this green was going to be more of a mint green but it's really more of a bright green and i was just disappointed in this on a couple levels. First of all, let me just back up. I think the packaging is beautiful. I really like it. It's cardboard. I think that this picture is gorgeous. I think that the Juvia's Place palette, I mean, this is the, my first Juvia's Place palette, and I think that the quality is very good. Um, but two things. Number one, it's made in China. You guys have heard me say China doesn't have the same FDA regulations that the United States has, and I just feel like Sometimes when I use products that are made from China, I kind of think twice because I don't know what they're putting in their product. The United States has better regulations. Europe has even better regulations than, you, than the United States in terms of what kinds of, um, you know, chemicals and um, 
you know, ingredients they're putting into their products. And in China, there is just not that regulation. I don't know that anything bad is put in makeup from China. I don't know that. I just know that the regulations are not the same. So I always think about that when I use those palettes. And I certainly don't want to pay $20 or $25 for a palette that's made in China when I can go get a Wet n Wild palette that's like under five. So that was a little bit disappointing about this product. I don't know why I thought it was made in the US, but it's not. They're lovely colors. I just do not, after I got it, I did not find myself reaching for it. And I just kind of feel like I won't buy another one of the Juvia's Place palettes. Um, that is just my personal opinion. I know people love, love, love the Juvia's Place palettes. Um, and I know that they're very affordable. They come with huge pans, um, but that's just my two cents. So those are my favorites and my not so favorites for this month. I hope that that was interesting to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. And I will be looking forward to seeing you guys the next time. Bye.